Daughter's teacher emailed and suggested that we use this time to buckle down on Goddard and have her really focus on her reading. She's apparently behind on her reading abilities. Have you been working with her? Yeah, I'm aware. You don't have to talk to me like a child. Daughter knows how to read. She just chooses not to. I'm not trying to talk down to you or upset you. I just wanted to see if she has been practicing. It makes me so mad like WT if I don't have the patience for her to act like a jackass, but yes, we've been working on it. I've been letting her read my emails and texts out loud to help practice. But like WTF, why don't teachers actually teach anymore? Like, why the fuck don't they teach them at school instead of letting them run around and play all day? And then they send them home and expect parents to do their job on top on raising the kids and working. It's insane. Lots of kids end up needing additional help to learn to read. It's not a big deal. No, not like this. It's like she's freaking our slur. I'm already so overwhelmed. But we work on it every night. Please don't speak like that in reference to our child. She is kinda silly though. Like she always acts up, and then I get frustrated. She's like legit our slur sometimes Douglas. She gets that from you lol. How is she feeling? Is she still feeling sick? Kids don't have school tomorrow, so at least she won't be missing another day. She's been coughing still. And she can't go until I get her tested. I don't even really know where to go to get that done still. Can you just come get her and do it? No, I don't want to get her until we know for sure if she has it or not. I have it, so she definitely will have it if I pick her up and expose her again for no reason. Just go on the online website and schedule an appointment. It's really simple. Uh, just do it for me. I'm doing so much online stuff for my business I really don't even want to look at a computer screen right now. It's so annoying. I'll schedule the appointment, but you have to take her. What symptoms did you have with COVID? Most people I know who have gotten it haven't even had symptoms. This is stressing me out way too much. Bad headache for a week now. Lots of sinus pressure. And a sore throat. The sore throat only lasted for like two days though. I only have three more days and then I'm off quarantine and back to work. It'll be over before you know it. OMG as if Douglas. You say it's not a big deal, but you know how bad this is going to be for me. I just started my business. I can't afford to take time off. I am not finding any testing sites listed in your area. You may have to call in the morning to get a list or just take her to the hospital to get tested. OMG! Then why the fuck did you tell me you would schedule an appointment when there isn't anywhere to get tested? I don't understand how you are so damn useless. Like OMG so useless. There is somewhere she can get tested. I am just not seeing it online. Just call in the morning. It's no big deal. Honestly, why can't you just come get her? She more than likely has it. She's blowing her nose every five minutes. And you know where to take her down by you to get tested. I'm going to have a breakdown. I can't come get her in case she doesn't actually have it. I'm not exposing her again. OMG she needs to go back to school or your house ASAP. 
She just knocked over a bottle of my expensive shampoo and emptied the whole thing. Why the fuck does she do this shit? I can't hardly even afford this shit to begin with. For fuck's sake. It's just shampoo. Calm down. She's a kid. Come get her seriously. You do realize COVID is just basically a cold, right? Like people don't die from this unless they're already fucking dying from something else. What is the big deal? She's your kid. You can be around your kid if you have it. What happens if I get it? I am in quarantine. I cannot leave my house to come get her. Sorry, that's an inconvenience. This COVID hoax is really starting to piss me off, OMG. Dumbest shit ever. This is so insane. Next thing we know, the fucking government will start telling people you have to stay inside two weeks for getting a simple cold. They love putting fear in people's heads for no damn reason. Over a stupid ass virus that is the same as a common cold. It's witchcraft. They're spreading fear and negative energy so quickly by making people think they're going to die. It's basically a giant spell they're putting on the country to keep control over everyone. It's satanic and black magic. You cannot be serious. You need to take this seriously. It is a big deal. You need to call today and figure out where to get daughter tested. Well, you need to lend me some money for the bus so I can take her to go get tested. Then I will stop bitching so much. I don't have any extra money. I've been out of work and haven't been paid. Well, hopefully you do. Because you have to pay for our ride. Or else I can't take her. If I pay, I will have to put it on my credit card. So find me a number to call and I will pay over the phone. Jesus Christ, just send me a few bucks and stop dicking around. You try living how I do and see how far you get. Just send me some damn money. I have nothing to send. I need new shampoo and a way to get daughter to get tested. Why even bother lying? I'm not an idiot. You're a fucking joke. Why don't you just say Susan won't let you help me anymore? Or I don't want to help cause I'm a dick. Are you stupid? I haven't been able to work so I haven't been paid. I have bills to pay over here still and child support to pay you for daughter. I'm doing the best I can. Clearly your household is where daughter is learning all of her lies from. Because even I know the government is making up the money you don't receive from being out from COVID. That isn't instantly. It takes time. But you can't loan me like $40 for a few days. You damn clown. FS. Whatever. Just be a dick who doesn't care about his daughter. Fuck her and fuck me. As long as Douglas is good. I sure hope you have some money. Cause daughter's COVID test is at the new pharmacy and I gotta take her on Monday so she can go back to school. And I have to take her tomorrow and don't get paid until Wednesday. So long story short, cough it up for fuck's sake. She needs to go back to school ASAP. It's crazy that you're the cause of all of this and you won't even help us out. You've got us trapped in the fucking house and you don't even care. I'm stressed to the max. You know it was fucking great when everything was normal and you helped me out and co-parented with me without me having to be worried about you using it for court. All of this has been such an inconvenience and is such bullshit that it never even needed to happen. It pisses me right off. 
Fucking seriously sad you won't even help. Anyways, I need the $50 by tomorrow. I'm serious. The money has been sent. Please inform me ASAP on her results. Thank you. Well, that's just awesome that you didn't even ask where to send it. My bank account that you sent it to was overdrafted by $20. So now I'm still $20 short. Seriously, are you that fucking stupid that you don't even ask? WTF is wrong with you. What the fuck happened to you? Did the COVID damage your brain? You were already stupid before. Now you're just a giant fucking moron. That is the account I always send money to when needed. You should have specified. Well, you should have asked dumbass. Now you have to send me more. You don't have $20 anywhere else to help pay. Clearly, I don't. If I did, I wouldn't have to beg your dumb ass for money. Seriously, it's time for you to send the rest of the money if you want your daughter to be able to get tested. I will see if I am able to send it. Give me a minute. You need to. Because if you don't, you don't even care about her health. You know that COVID is serious, and you don't care to find out if she still has it or not. That's so pathetic. What happened to COVID being a hoax? You didn't believe in it last week. Shut the fuck up and send the money. I sent it. Please ensure to send me her results immediately. Have a great night.